Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is going to be another classroom setup video. Day four, I believe. Um, I did hang two bulletin boards yesterday. Um, just in between, like, meetings and stuff. I do have one more meeting today. And then I'm planning on finishing up bulletin board walls. I'm probably not going to put things up on the wall. Very like very many things up on the wall just because I'm waiting for some cardstock to come in the mail so that I can cut out words. Um, but anyway, I'm in the Starbucks line and um, then I'm gonna go into Walmart real quick. It's 7.50, I don't have a meeting until nine, so I'm gonna try and run into Walmart really quickly. Couple things I need to get, extension cords, two of them, one black crate, I need to get some command hooks and then I also need to get, um, I want to get a new Scentsy like wax warmer and some smells. So that is everything on my Walmart list, I think. I'll have to check again, but um, everything is so close now and so convenient. It's just really, really nice. Um, the Starbucks is like five minute drive and then Walmart's right next to it. So if I need anything, it's just super nice. So I opened up what I thought was going to be a breakfast burrito. It's a sandwich, but I'll eat it. It's still yummy. Whew, okay, you guys, I just ran up the stairs. So Walmart did not have the black crate that I needed. So I think I ordered the right one from Target and it's going to be available for pickup. So I'll pick it up later today. What else did I get at Walmart? I got a new Scentsy warmer because that is my favorite thing about my classroom is the smells in here. So I got a new warmer. This one's really cute. It's like kind of bohemian looking. This one's gonna be over here on my desk. I have another one across the room. And then I got a few extension cords. I got two six foot and one 12 foot. And then I got a bunch of scents. These, the Better Homes and Gardens ones are literally the best. And then conditioner, but it's not for here. So I have about 30 minutes until my meeting starts. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, eat my breakfast, and then I think I'm gonna take all of the stools down off of the desks, put them under the desks so that when I show you guys stuff, the stools are not like in the way because I just realized like as I look around the room, I can't really see everything and that's just simply because there's stools up. So. I'm gonna do that and then I will check in with you guys about the game plan. Okay, so let me give you a quick progress update. So, this bulletin board was hung yesterday. This board is going to be my science and social studies board. So I will probably put anchor charts, maps, posters, whatever here. And then I did purchase a tablecloth for this tablecloth or for this table, for this tablecloth. It should be here today or tomorrow. It's on coming from Amazon. I also hung this board and I'm not sure how I like it because so I ran out of border or sorry paper and I didn't have enough to color, cover the whole board so I thought maybe I could do like a border situation. This is probably going to be like my information station um, so I'm thinking I'll probably put like some bitmojis with speech bubbles on the black, put a calendar and then basically like scholastic book order stuff, uh, announcements things like that on this board. Sorry, I just bumped the camera just because it's like right up front and these are my turn-in bins as of now. Um, so yeah, that's the progress. Um, today I'm gonna do this wall. I'm gonna do a wall behind my desk. I'm gonna do this wall and then this wall is going to be for the math and ELA teachers to put their anchor charts and then if for some reason we decide not to switch, um, then I'll use this space for something else, but this is gonna be like, kind of whatever they need. So anyway, I have a meeting that starts in about mm, 
20 minutes. So I'm gonna check my email, finish eating because I can't be, can't be eating during a meeting. Maybe I'll set this cutie up so I can get some good smellage. And then after the meeting's over, which it should only be an hour, then I will start setting up again. Okay, so a few years ago, a kid broke one of my staplers and it turned out to be like a life changer. These are great for stapling things on the walls. Um, does anybody else get really freaking irritated when the staples do that thing, when they do that thing where they like don't go down all the way, they go down on one side. It's really freaking annoying. So I'm currently doing the wall behind my desk and if you guys haven't invested in some of this better than paper bulletin board paper, you really need to get on board with that. I know that it's kind of pricey, but you can probably get away with using like two rolls, maybe three in your classroom, and they're less than $20 on Amazon. And honestly, this piece of paper has lasted me, this is my third classroom or class year using this paper, this specific sheet, and it has lasted me through the test of time. They are dry erase, they do not rip, they don't tear, um, they're easy to put up by yourself. All I use is a yardstick, and I just pin it up on one side, and then I start to roll it out, and I smooth it with one of these, and then as I go, I just staple down, and it stays flat, and it's really easy to put up. So I'm also, um, putting up this border to go with it um, and this is behind my desk space so this is like where I put all of my stuff all my important paperwork um, my pictures things the kids make me um, stuff like that so yes better than paper bulletin board paper is way better than butcher paper it is an investment um, it's not a waste of money it's an investment so I highly recommend getting this if you're interested in this one or the brick that I'm using it is linked in my Amazon storefront Okay guys, so I am done with my board behind my desk and I love it. It's very functional. I'm just fishing out my professional binders because I know those go behind my desk and I like to save certain stuff in them and I'm finding things that need to go in them. I just have these two binders. They're from Target a long time ago and um, I think I've had them since my first year teaching. But I always like to put stuff like this in there, like name tags, places that I've taught. So I like to keep that kind of stuff in here. I always have like staff photos and things like that that I like to keep. Um, So I'm gonna show you guys what behind my desk looks like so far. I do have a few things I wanna do to my fridge, so I'll explain that. But basically, this is what it looks like. So I have these two clear file folders that I nailed to the wall. It's another great thing about this paper is that you can put nails through it and it doesn't rip or tear or anything. Like obviously there's holes in it, but you can always cover those up. Um, so I've got my phone and then this is going to be like where I put, um, things on the top are going to be things that I need to complete and turn in. And then, um, the bottom is going to be for handouts that I get from the school. This up here is lunch bunch and behavioral things. So like, uh, detention slips and, uh, detention essays. And then this is like school information. So this is gonna be like my school schedule, um, duty schedules, things like that, that I need to like really keep. These down here might be like I can toss. Um, but I have my little Darth Valdez set up. I was thinking about not putting the shelf here, but I honestly didn't wanna put it anywhere else. And this is kind of like my little ode to Darth Vader. So anything that I get that is Darth Vader themed, I always like to keep it together. So this is this little spot. And then I also have my degree here and then my picture of my grandma and her twin sister. They graduated 30 years before me from the teacher's college at ASU. So I always keep that. And then, so I bought some black contact paper that I'm planning on putting on this refrigerator. And then I have plans for a little coffee bar here. Um, this Brita will probably be kept in the fridge full of water. This is for ice. Um, so if I want to bring ice to and from home, I can put it in here and it will stay pretty cold. Um, 
And then I bought this yesterday at Home Goods, or sorry, TJ Maxx, and it's for keeping my coffee filters in. So I'll probably keep this, this, and the coffee pot up. And I'll probably move this like up here, I think. But I think I ordered a different one. This was a gift from Mandy. I don't know where I'll put this. I want to keep it, but I don't know where I'll put it yet. But anyway, this will be a little coffee bar area. I wanted to get some hooks to put back here or maybe here if I can find out how to hang them to put my coffee mugs on, but I don't know yet. I don't want to get crazy and then stuff break or anything like that. So anyway, and then my desk, I'm going to keep very, um, very minimal because like I've said before, I am going to have another teacher that has to plug in and use the space. So I want to keep this desk very clean. Um, obviously there's stuff on it right now that I'm using, um, but you guys get it. So I made this bulletin board last night. Not really bulletin board. Um, this is just words that are going to go up on that wall. So I need to go get my painter's tape from home so that I can put them up there. I have to hot glue them up there. So I think I'm going to wait a little bit until I I'm done with some more bulletin boards before I do that. I found this in my little roll of joy. So I'm going to put this one here. I think it will fit. It should. I'm going to do this board next. And I think I'm going to put this burlap border around it. So we'll see if it fits. So I just found out that I cannot hang anything from my ceilings, which is really sad because I bought a bunch of these pom-poms that I was totally wanting to hang from the ceiling, but I can still use them. I just have to put them on the walls instead of hanging them from the ceiling. over a slight, slight amount on this side. But that, my friends, is the beauty of borders. <laughs> okay, let's go pick a border for this wall. I think I'm gonna do this again, because I have plenty of it. Ooh, or I could do a shark. Hey, where are you going with that? By the way, if you guys hear strange noises, it's just Helen vacuuming. Hey, what are you doing? Just taking stuff. This is one way to help me keep stuff off of the floor because she will vacuum it right up. Okay, do I want to do light bulbs over there or colors over there? hot tip with bulletin boards. Always leave the corner unstapled until you're ready to complete it because it's easier to tuck pieces behind the straight one on the end rather than having to cut it. You just tuck it right in. So I always leave these ends undone. That way I can just tuck around them. 
Hey guys, so I had to switch to my phone because my camera is dying. That was me, a mistake. Okay, so I think I've decided what I'm gonna do with this wall up here. I think I'm gonna take it down, put that brick somewhere else in the room, use it for a small wall, which I think I might put it over here by the door. Or I can just roll it up and use it somewhere else some other time. I have enough wood paper to fill that board. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I have not done this, ball, this wall yet, but I'm about to. And I'm going to leave this wall empty. So I think I'm gonna take this down and not worry about it. I'm not gonna take it down yet. I'm gonna wait until after I do this wall and decide what I wanna do. But I really just am not thrilled about how it looks. So I did finish this wall, love it. Um, now that I'm like really thinking about the room, maybe the brick was a mistake and I should have just done all wood, but that's fine. I'm gonna leave it there. It is what it is. Okay, so now I need to move this table out of the way with all of the stuff that's underneath it. I really don't know why I do this to myself. Like why do I set myself up for this challenge? Why did I just not have it pulled out to begin with? You know what I mean? I don't know, I do this to myself all the time. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to time-lapse this because of my phone and I don't have a tripod, so I'm just going to show you the before and after. So I decided to put the colorful border on it, just to put a pop of color in this corner. And then while I was gone, I also did the library space, which I love. I wasn't totally sure about the mirror in the middle, but I'm thinking I'll probably put some vinyl letters on there that say like, I see a reader in you, maybe, I don't know. Um, I really like the space. Um, I know there's not gonna be any kids hanging out back here, which is why I'm using the bench to put this rotating bookshelf. And then let me tell you, it was a pain trying to get all those leveled. They probably aren't even leveled at this point, but it looks good enough to me, so. Um, that's the library space, looking good. I still have three of these black frames that I'm going to use somewhere else in the room. Maybe I'll put Darla over here above this chair. I don't know, I don't wanna be like, oh, I have wall space, let's throw some crap up on it. Um, I know I wanna try and put my full length mirror right there, like as an entrance place, but I also thought about moving that brick wall over there and making it like a welcome area. Like maybe I would put stuff there, I don't know, next to the mirror, under the mirror, over the mirror, I don't know. I have this wall. I think maybe I'll put one of these frames up there just to kind of kill the emptiness. And then maybe one here. Um, I don't wanna put anything on these walls because they are brick and it will probably just fall off. So I'm not gonna do that. I am probably gonna put all this stuff, all of this like, character count stuff up there, possibly. I also have Miss Fifth's um, motivational posters that I can put up there. Hey, you guys. So, update. I am sitting at my desk. I'm actually sitting for the first time. It's 1.50, and I'm just taking a break from doing bulletin boards. I did get all of my bulletin boards hung. I have not put anything on them yet. So that is the next step. I know that my meet the teacher video is due the 17th. So my room has to be done before then. I still have plenty of time. I have all, not all day tomorrow. I have until, I'm gonna leave here at three. So I have another hour here. And then I will have some time tomorrow. Tomorrow is our first staff meeting, which is exciting but also terrifying because I know we're going to find out what teaching is going to look like at this point, like what our expectations are for Google Classroom and stuff like that. Um, so that's a little bit freaky, but I will have some time tomorrow. So right now I'm cutting out these. Um, these are Maniac in the Middles engineering practices and I really love these. They're so cute. This is like the theme of my room is like these posters, like black and white with pops of color. 
Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you what I accomplished since we last spoke. So let me flip you around. Okay, so since the last time we talked, I think I'd shown you guys that one's done. Um, also, I decided to change this from the brick. It was that brick. I just couldn't deal with it, and I had enough wood paper that I just put that up. So I finished that wall. Uh, this wall's done too. And then I moved all of the rest of the decor that needs to be put up over there with the tools that I need to do it with. And then up there I have Christmas lights that need to go up around the perimeter of the whiteboard and some other things. I still need to focus on like my objective wall and stuff like that, but that's for another day. Um, so I think I'll probably hang these before I leave, maybe. I don't know yet. Um, overall, the classroom is pretty much done other than the bulletin boards. Um, library is done. I'm really liking it. It feels very big. It feels very tidy, which I'm surprised because I have so much stuff, but it all has a place. So that's positive. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and continue cutting and then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done. Okay, friends, so this is going to be the last check-in on day four of classroom setup. Um, since I last talked to you, I did add a final bulletin board area. I needed a space for information because I decided to put my class roles right here. I don't know if they'll stay there the whole year, but you know, they are kind of important in the beginning. So I'm gonna put um, information back here. So I'll put like the calendar, and then I will put my scholastic book order number here. That's what I usually do. I'll probably get a bit moji and stick her there. And then this will be like calendar announcements. Um, like if I have bathroom passes or like, you know, whatever, um, they'll all go right here. And then I did stick a mirror right there. This is going to be my outfit of the day mirror. Um, it, it's a good spot. I mean, it doesn't look too crowded. I don't think. Um, on the wall there. I'm not still not sure about this mirror here. Um, I might move that and do something else with that small space, but overall I'm very pleased with the way my room is turning out. This right here is all that I have left to hang up that I currently have. So anything else that needs to be hung up has not been made, purchased, or given to me quite yet. I do still have an alphabet, but I'm not going to hang it. I have a calendar, but I think I'm gonna hold off and print one. And then that will go, like I said, back there. I also have a lot of empty bins, which is really exciting. So I know that that pink one is empty. This green one is empty. And then I have one, two, three empty crates on this which is good news because that means I have space for when kids come in and bring supplies, which I don't know when that will be, but we're gonna leave them empty for now because we don't wanna overcrowd ourselves. So tomorrow, if I have time, I will be putting up Christmas lights and doing the front of the room, hanging up all this stuff. These are like non-negotiables that need to go up um, around so those will go up somewhere. My desk area is clean. So that's nice. This is just trash. And then this is a cart I need to put together. This chair, I don't know. I think I probably should just stick it somewhere so that it can get taken away because I don't need it. So anyway, I'm going to sign off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's uh, classroom setup. <sighs> If you're not already and you would like to, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram for more daily updates. And um, I'm just so glad you guys are here and on this journey with me. It's been really nice to see comments and ideas that you guys have. It's very helpful um, because there's certain things that I don't notice or that I don't think of. And you guys giving me ideas is really helpful. Okay, I'm rambling. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.